This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Heck of a basketball game. You know, two teams on tired legs find a way to gut it out overtime in the final game. And it was exciting. I mean, it went right to the end. Uh, obviously, we wish we'd have closed better. We didn't. And end up going to overtime. And we still had opportunities in overtime. You know, Matt, I told Matt I would take that shot he had to tie the game uh, nine out of ten times, downhill to the rim. And unfortunately, it didn't go in. And, uh, you know, <laughs> they, got a, they got a pretty good whistle. The free throws were, I think they shot 38 free throws. That's pretty good for a college game. We shot 23. Uh, they did a really good job on the offensive glass in the second half. I think they had one at halftime, ended up with 10 for the game. That was a real difference in the game. But I thought we fought hard, competed hard, and learned a lot about ourselves uh, moving forward for the rest of the season. All right, questions? Start with Rob. Coach, the, the third place, oh, sorry. Coach, the third place game is always tough. You're coming off a loss in, in the semis when you have the chance to get to that final. And then, you know, you, one, one team's going to leave the third place game with two wins in three days here, and one's going to leave with two losses in a row leaving here. Uh, you know, when, at, as you leave town, you know, what's the attitude uh, on your team? That we had learnable moments, teachable moments, and we can get better from here. Obviously, we competed hard. We competed really hard for two, two games in a row. We play Arizona and Arkansas back-to-back -back and, you know, let Arizona slip out on us late in the second half. Arkansas battled to the end, had a chance to win, and couldn't close, and so we learned a lot about our team, that we were tough, we're, we're strong enough to play with Power 5 schools, and that uh, we have to use these moments we had here in Hawaii to learn and grow as a team, and we will do that. We always do that. What are some of those things that you think you need to, you, you know, you learned and, and you'll fix in the next few weeks? You know, just tighten up our offensive efficiency, you know, learn uh, time score, what's a good shot, what's a hard shot, depending on the time and score, and still being aggressive, not having them afraid to make plays, you know. So it's usually the offensive. And I thought defensively we played a heck of a game, you know. They got to the line a lot. I mean, 38 free throws is, I don't know, the last time we gave up 38 free throws to anybody. That's a lot of free throws. So we have to do a better job of defending without fouling. The first game, the offense really flowed, shared the ball, lots of assists. The last two games, hardly any assists. Was that something other teams were doing, something that, that you need to – yeah, well, that they're not play. helping as much. They're trying to make us beat them, you know, with uh, two-on-two -two play. And that's what good teams do. That's what we do sometimes. You know, we're going to make your best players try to beat us one-on-one -on -one or two-on-two. -two. And uh, although we gave a lot more help because we knew they were trying to go downhill. You know, they were playing a lot of isolation, attacking off the bounce basketball, which they did a great job of. And then they crashed the glass. So every game is different. That's the whole beauty of it. You know, you have to prepare. I thought we did a really good job uh, in a short prep to be ready for them. And I thought... You know, we control the tempo of the game for a large part of the game. What happened in the uh, handshake line? I don't know. I don't know. I was already through it. So I just tell our kids. You know, I tell them every year. I tell them every month. You represent yourself first, your family second, and this university and athletic program third. Don't do anything that would embarrass any of us. And so that's a message I deliver every year to our guys, and I think they good, do a good job of upholding that. They represent themselves with a lot of class. And that last play of... Um regulation with Lamont's turnover what what would you have liked to have seen happen there well I I told him we have the next jump ball and we have a timeout so obviously you know if he got tied up maybe could have held it and tried to get a jump ball you know I could have maybe come down the sideline and taken a timeout but obviously we can't turn it over and that's what happened so we have to take a timeout or we have to make them uh, grab the ball from us because we get the next jump ball so we knew time and score and timeouts you know, maybe I could have come down the sideline. I thought he was probably going to get fouled or, at worst, a tie, tied up ball. And they end up making a play and, and uh, securing the ball. So that's a credit to Arkansas's press at the end. Was that where you wanted the ball to go on the inbounds? Yeah, we, yeah, that's, we want to run Lamont up. He can break left or right. If he catches the ball, then we cut one guard diagonal. We step the other guard in. So he's got options to pass the ball. He's got a target diagonally and a, a target the inbounder coming back in. So... He obviously thought he could make that sideline pass and, and had it deflected. So credit to Arkansas. That length and athleticism paid off for him. And did you want him that deep and that far towards the sideline, or, or was he trying to get it? Yeah, he cuts more? diagonally up the sideline. So that usually leaves one guy to guard two. Either that guy's got to either take the diagonal or the pass back to the inbounder. So they did a good job. I'd have to go back and look, but 
The one thing you can't do when you have the next jump ball is throw it away. You have to make him at least tie you up for a jump ball. Is it surprising you that they were involved in that turnover? I mean, he's a guy who's a veteran. He's really strong with the ball. Um, you know, he's been around the block. He's been in those situations a zillion times in his career. Yeah, you see it a lot. I mean, this is this is early season college basketball. I mean, this is it's hard. You get trapped and you got to make a play. It, like I said, it's always easy when you look on tape after the game. You can see spacing and where everyone's open. But when you're in the heat of it and they're trapping you and you have to split it or you have to get a jump ball, it's hard. And so. Uh, Lamont is a strong, he's a smart player, and, and he didn't make the play, obviously. We'll do one more in here yeah. for Coach. Last from me. Um, just in bigger picture, looking at this tournament, four years ago, uh, after you, you played here, it looked like you might not be coming back. Uh, you weren't a lock to come back. Um, where are you, what's the status now? And, and obviously the Pac-12 thing's looming. If, if Pac-12 takes you, it makes it a lot harder to, to come from the Pac-12 than it does from the Mountain West. Yeah, I think I think we've represented this tournament well when we've come. I think our fan base has been supportive. We have as many fans as any team that comes to this event. So we're wholeheartedly excited for all the opportunities we had to play in it, and hopefully we'll have another one down the road at football some point. Football is back, and Bet Online remains your number one source for all your football betting needs this season. You'll find the latest odds, matchup info, player news, and game trends. And as your continued source for all sports wagering info, Bet Online features live betting, free contests, live scores, and giveaways all season long. Always the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports and events like MLB, MMA, tennis, boxing, and even golf. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive your 100% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. BetOnline, where the game starts.